Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's MPC key quick tip, we're going to be talking about changing the velocity settings of the MPC key 61's key bed. Called up here, we've got the stage piano. Beautiful piano sound, and I figured it's a really good one to use to kind of show you the different velocity curves of this keyboard. So to get to the controls, we're going to tap on this dedicated keyboard control button right up here in the top right panel, and it brings up our keyboard control settings. There's a lot of settings in here. Make sure you're subscribed because I will be talking about scale mode on the MPC key 61 very soon, but just let's call out a couple of things here. So. We have really two different ways to affect the velocity. We're going to talk about the keybed settings first. So this is the velocity response of the keybed. Right now, I have it on linear. Has a nice dynamic response. I can play softly. Or I can kind of hit them harder and get a bit more of a bite to it. But if we want to change that, depending on your playing style, you may want a lighter or heavier response. So what we can do is just like with the screen and all the other areas, we can double tap or we can push down on the encoder to bring up our list of options. Then we can scroll through them or you can just scroll through them here without opening up that option menu. So what we're going to do is start with linear and walk backwards into the light so you can kind of see how it changes and then the other way into heavy. So linear. And then light one. Light two. Light three. I'm hitting the key bed pretty light at this point. So you can see you get a little bit more of those softer dynamics the further towards the heavy you get. So again, at linear. Heavy one. Heavy two. And heavy three. Now it's really easy to get those lighter dynamics when you're on heavy three. almost harder to hear. Again, depending on your playing style, how heavy you play those keys, you may want to change this. The last one we have is custom. So if you're not happy with the curves they give you, you can go in and you can customize your own curves with that custom setting. Now there's one other thing that we can take into consideration when we're looking at the velocity curves. So let's go back to linear. If we scroll up to the top here, we have this note on velocity. And what this is, is it allows us to actually pick set velocity instead of using the velocity we play. So as played, of course, if I play the key soft, or if I play the keys hard, you see that I'm getting different velocity response. Now what this allows us to do is if you think of the velocity curve, so we have zero is me not playing the key at all, 127 is me playing the key as hard as I can. So what we can do is actually go in here and we can pick set values instead of using the curve. So if we pick 12, we're gonna get 12% of 127, which is at full on volume, but this is gonna be 
more of a fixed velocity. Think of this as fixed velocity. So no matter how hard I play, I'm only gonna get 12% of our max velocity of 127. No matter how hard I hit those keys, I'm only getting 12%. And I can go all the way up, so if I go to maybe half, I'm getting half of that 127. Even if I press it really light or hard, same exact velocity. So fixed velocity, we have a ton of different fixed velocities here. You can even do full. No matter how hard I play, I can play really soft, get full 127 volume. So those are the two ways. I keep this on as played and I scroll down here and I keep the keybed setting on the linear response. I find that works best for me, but mess around with those settings. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys, but if you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.